Desperation hangs in the air. One team looking to advance to the next round. The other, and the other looking to force a game six. What will happen? These are the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Tonight, we'll see the Boston Celtics as they play against the Atlanta Hawks. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson, with David Aldridge roaming the sideline. Looking at the starting five for the Atlanta Hawks. In the backcourt, it's the Stars, Young and Murray. Sadiq Bey is out there with Johnson. And it's Okongwu in at the five spot. And for the Celtics, the wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Tatum out there with Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the point. And take a look at the Celtics. They have a chance to end things right here. Greg on their floor up 3 1. What's their mindset? You've been here before. What's their mindset coming into this one? Well, I, I think this is where they expect it to be when the series began. And, and they have their eyes on a much bigger prize down the road. So the last thing they want to do is drop this one and prolong this thing. I think they will probably have more intensity tonight than we've seen through the first four games. And as you always say, just take care of business. Yes, sir. That's a guy you want taking shots, a quality offensive player. Here's Young. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Right there, you, you see it. Young's ability to operate out of that pick and roll, very advanced for a player of his age. Round kicks to Porzingis. A rebound by Johnson. And it's Bay with the ball for Atlanta. Thursday's loss was a disappointment. Well, I, I felt like they were never on the same page defensively in that one. Gave up way too many easy shots. Boy, they looked like they were asleep on that end of the floor. No one was talking. No one was paying attention. Yeah, it was rough. Oh, a nifty finisher. You didn't think Holiday would back down inside, did you? Young for three. Good on the three-point shot. Young's got five now. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Boston shooting their first free throw of the night here. One shot. have gotten their first three shots to go in for it to start off this game. Murray, the pass to Bay. And that's a foul called on Porzingis. That's his first foul. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Bay with it. Now guarded by Tatum. Bay kicks to Murray. Just two to shoot. Shoots over White. And off the left side of the rim. And it swirls in for him. Wow. Now this is how you want to start your games. Flawless shooting so far. Here's Holiday. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. Ideal way to start the game. Come out of the gate and knock down all but one of your first five shots. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. It's going to be Murray shooting. That one on White. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. It's fun to watch a crafty player like DeJounte Murray who uses a blend of speed and smarts to make trouble on both ends of the floor. And White kicks to Holiday. And it's slammed in by Holiday. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. They are on fire, just in a great groove here early on. And here's Holiday. Eight points for him. He kicks to Brown. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Gotta love the confidence. Brown wasting no time firing away. 
And the pass to Okongwu. Young dishes to Murray. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. And they call an illegal screen here. Already his second foul. He's in danger of getting into serious foul trouble early in this game. And the Celtics making a change here. Orford's checked in. Now here is Young. Seven points in the game. Now here's Bay. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Bay's got his second bucket of the night. Celtics trail by four. Here's Holiday. A fadeaway. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. How about five straight made from the field? Bay with it. Six to shoot. Out to the right wing. Here's Murray. Gets the 14-footer to fall. Murray's got nine. He's just got it on automatic right now, shooting 100%, and that'll keep your confidence high. Tatum passes to Holiday. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Oh, man, off to a terrific start. Yet to miss with six made buckets. Murray, the pass to Okongwu. Yeah, just nice strength there, and then just off with the shot. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Hawks. They've made a point to take what's given to them in the mid-range. The jumpers are falling for them so far. And one more thing they've done well tonight. They've attacked the rim viciously and have gotten a lot of points by just going at the defender. And that one falls for Okongwu. The Hawks making a switch here. Bogdanovich has checked in. Free throws good from Okongwu. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Horford kicks to Holiday. Brown outside. Over Bogdanovich, and it's Brown that time on the assist by Holiday. He's got five. And each year, it seems Brown keeps getting better at shooting the ball, especially from the mid-range. And now the first timeout called here for the Hawks. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. Clint Capella, he's checked in for the Hawks. Here's Bogdanovich. Pass to Young. To the inside, Capella, and the layup is good. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Holiday, the pass to Horford. There's Brown with the three. The Celtics get it back in a new 14. Here's Tatum. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Now you've got to keep Tatum off the boards or he will jump all over you. Bogdanovich dishes to Johnson. Holiday against Young. 
Here's Bogdanovich, and it's blocked by Brown. Terrific anticipation by Brown, managing to see the shot coming and get ahead of it. Tatum kicks to Holiday. Outside Tatum. And the shot's good. Brown making the play. Tatum's got his second bucket tonight. They're, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Young finds Capella. And hard to miss the wide open man that time. Kudos to Young for finding him. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. For the Hawks, Hunter's checked in for Johnson, and Griffin subbed in for Young. Pass to Pritchard. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. You have to think at this point the winner will be the one to settle in on defense. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Well, so far, their long-range shooting has been the story, doing damage from deep. And I also have to bring up their passing game. They've been moving the ball with great precision so far and creating great looks for their teammates. On the free throw, no good. Here's Murray, and he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. Coming into this league, some guys have to develop the mid-range. Well, Murray, yeah, he's done that. And again, it's Boston converting. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. you got to show some fire and keep defending. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Look, guys get away with this all the time, but on this occasion, he got caught. Bruno Fernando's checked in for Atlanta. A shot by Pritchard, no good. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Showing off his inside game. Bogdan is an all-around scorer. Pritchard passes to Tillman. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. And it's Bogdanovich off the drive. Capella and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Great initiative from Capella there. Seeing an opportunity to score and getting the D to act. And he's got his first free throw of the game. First one falls for him. And the defense Capella provides is huge. I mean, a legitimate shot-blocking threat who also rebounds the ball at an efficient rate. Second free throw, no good. Boston's gone three or five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. Right the pass to Tillman. Here's Hauser. Here's Cornette. Nothing on the board. Five to shoot. Pritchard gets the bucket. 
And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. It's good. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Pass to White. And it's DeAndre Hunter with the foul. That's his first foul. Cornett passes to Tillman. Just five on the clock. Here's Pritchard. And Capella sends it back. Opponents have to be careful when Capella is in the area. What an impressive display of timing. Here's Fernando. Here's Griffin. That's his second shot timeout, and timeout. his second basket. He's two for two. Timeout called the Celtics. Austin with the ball. The pass to Hauser. Here's Pritchard. Driving the lane. Three-pointer. And the basket by Hauser. Hauser's got five. Draw them in and kick it out. Great execution to open up an easy look from outside. Here's Hunter. And it's blocked. And pushing it up, here's Boston. Pass to Tillman. To the paint. White, good. And it's a five-point Boston lead. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. Pat Donovich wide open. It's hauled in by Cornette. Now, I understand that that shot didn't go down, but they will take that look every trip down the floor. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D avoided fouling and got in perfect position to alter that shot. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Five on the clock. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. For Atlanta, they have only one missed free throw. They've had five attempts and made four of them. Free throw drops for Griffin. And he makes both free throws. Eight seconds left here in the opening quarter. Brown inside the line, and it's good off the back rim and in. Brown's got his third basket of the night right there. Drew Holiday has been on display for the Boston Celtics. He put together quite a quarter, 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. Right back after this break.
So glad to have you with us here as we bring you more action from courtside at Game 5. When you consider how the Celtics are doing, guys, what jumps out to you stats-wise? Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. And as long as the threes are dropping, you've got to keep launching them. Here's Holiday. High point lead, the biggest of the game. On the court right now for the Hawks. We've got Johnson. Griffin out there with Trey Young. Then it's Sadiq Bey. And it's Okongwu in at the center, filling out the middle. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been off. Bay, the shot's good on the assist by Johnson. Bay's got seven. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Now, here's Tatum. On the wing, Holiday. Four on the clock. Over Okongwu. And there are the Celtics with another best. And he's got it all working for him tonight. Holiday's effort level and energy are off the chart. Griffin looking around. Another three for Atlanta. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make a pay. Holiday, the pass to Persingas. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Persingas has got his first points in this one. And a little contact won't go a long way against Porzingis. What a display of physicality. A nice shot by Griffin. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. Young against Holiday. Out to Porzingis. Passes it to Horford. Oh, good on the triple. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. Did a great job yeah, making the shooter feel uncomfortable. Holiday, the pass to Horford. Here's Tatum. Tatum using his size inside. Now, what hard work from Tatum inside. Doing what it takes to find his shot. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. DeJounte Murray, he's checked in for Bay. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Young finds Griffin. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. Got it in close, and unless it's an open three, that's the key to efficient offense. Holiday dishes to Tatum. Pass to Horford. Lock at six. Here's Holiday. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to go on Onyeka Okongwu. A deceptive guard. Holiday draws fouls by keeping his defenders always on their heels over the course of the game. Shooting two. Free throw good from Holiday. Derek White checked in for Jalen Brown. And a switch here also for Atlanta. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Griffin.
Both free throws good from Holiday. The Hawks trail by four. Young looking around. Another three for Atlanta. You can't do anything about that. Even when Young is under pressure, he just finds a way to score. The three from Tatum. The three is drilled by Tatum. He got a three to fall in the first, and now his second in this quarter. Not a trend the defense wants to see. Murray kicks to Johnson. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Well, his court vision has come a long way since entering into the league. Murray is now a skilled facilitator. Outside, Horford jacks up a three. And the Celtics hit again from deep. I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. The pass to Okongwu. Young dishes to Murray. To the middle. Here's Okongwu. That's in there. Murray with the assist. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Tatum passes to Holiday. And again, Boston with the triple. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. Murray finds Young. And he uses the glass on the way. Young's got five points now this quarter. They're getting on a roll time inside. Out, their last three field goals have come from the paint. Timeout called the Celtics. Bogs making a switch here. Bogdanovich has checked in. The three from Tatum. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got five assists tonight. That's a dozen straight points coming off the trip. Bogdanovich looking around. Bob Bash to Capella. An emphatic LU jam. And the long arms of Capella using them to perfection as a target for his teammates on that alley-oop. Now here is Horford, and it's good for two. Horford's got his second bucket of the night. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. He's locked in with his teammates right now, setting guys up in perfect position. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. There's Tatum, and Capella sends it back. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. And some changes here for the Celtics. Hauser's checked in, and it's Pritchard in for Drew Holiday. Austin with the ball. It's a five-point game. Pass to Hauser. Shot clock at five. Puts up a deep three. Rebound Atlanta. Just a enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. And Bogdanovich kicks to Young. Feeds it to Capella. That's his fourth basket of the game and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. And look at Capella getting aggressive inside, shooting past the coverage like it's not even there. Tatum passes to White. A small movement by Boston. He was all alone on that one. Richards got eight points. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the arc. Now here's Johnson. This is DeYoung. 
from 10 feet out. Again, the Hawks good for two. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. The three from Tatum. And the Celtics hit again from deep. An, an amazing performance he's putting on from three-point range here in the second quarter. Capella trying to free himself up. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. And he's got his first chance at the line here. For the Hawks, Bruno Fernando comes in for Johnson. And Hunter subbed in for Young. guys play their role better than Bogdanovich and, and by that I mean he's often exceeding expectations and giving his squad more than they asked for. We love to see him inside passing like this as well as guys being on the same page. Murray dishes to Bogdanovich inside to Pella and he makes the bucket gets the whistle and now a three point play chance here for him. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. And here's White. He'll bring it up for Boston. Three-point lead. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. That free throw, no good. Bays checked in for Atlanta. He hits the second from the line. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Murray, the pass to Hunter. Bay in the post. And it's tonight. Outside White. It's blocked. Bogdanovich against White. That's tipped. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on White. And I want to see more of this. Bogdan getting assertive and just forcing his will on the D. And the first one drops. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter. And the Celtics making a change here. Brown's checked in. He hits both from the strike. And didn't have a single free throw in that first quarter, but he started to play with a little bit more of an edge to his game here in the second. Here's Hauser. Seven points in the game. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. One shot. Trail by five. Murray right side. This for the first time this game. He's five for six. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Passes it to Hauser. 
And the Celtics hit again from deep. Three-pointers are killing them at this point. And they haven't been able to respond at the other end. Now Bay. He's got nine. Here's Hunter. The jumper from the free throw line is good. Hunter's got his first points of the night. A solid mid-range shooter. Hunter knows where his strengths are. Brown the pass to Tillman. Here's Hauser. 13 points in the game. Just four to shoot. A shot by Pritchard. No good. The Hawks trail by six. Here's Bogdanovich. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And not a great start for him in the first, but he's quickly starting to turn it around. Now, here's Brown. He's got seven. That one drops for him. Brown's got nine. Muscling that one in. JB is a strong individual. Here's Hunter. And it's good. Two points. Challenging the bigger defender, cutting him down to size with that one. He's not going to back down from anyone. Got to commend the attitude right there. Here's Hauser, and he's good on the three ball. He's got 16. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Now here's Bay. He's covered closely. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. 29 seconds left in the first half of the game. Here's Pritchard. Eight points for him. Brown outside. And again, Boston with the triple. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. He is a big guard at six foot four. Murray getting up. Brown with the bounce pass. Hauser. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's Boston with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. And their three-point shooting has paved the way for them. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, guys. With Quinn Snyder, coach, they came at you offensively. So what has to change for you defensively? Well, a lot, obviously, with everybody on the floor. Um, you know, they're capable of doing this, but we're not. It's just too easy. Got to tighten things up as we go along. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. The NBA playoffs are happening. And we're happy to have you here for the halftime show. Taking a look at the Celtics, this game has taken a similar direction as the previous four in the series, where they've clearly been the better team the majority of the time. And now they're this close to clinching it here in game five. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? It's always a positive sign to see assist numbers like this. They're moving the rock to keep each other happy. It's a brand of unselfish basketball that's fun to watch and play. And Shaq, how about what you saw from the Hawks? They were really efficient, great approach offensively. Their shot selection was first rate. They were always working hard to get good looks. That can't change in the second half. They need to be just as well organized as they've been so far. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. An exceptional performance from Drew Holiday. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. You love guys who can get their shots within the flow of the offense. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. Down in the front court along with Tatum. Then it's Holiday, and there's Porzingis, and it's Pritchard in at the two guard. That's the Boston Five. Now here's Tatum. Johnson with the rebound. 
Now you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One they'll try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. Oh, crafty move there by Young, finessing his way around the contact. Good on the triple. Brown's got 15. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. He's just riding the wave of momentum right now, getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side. Here's Pritchard. He's covered by Murray. And again, Boston with the triple. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from Long Range. And Young kicks to Johnson. And here is Bay. 11 points in the game. And it's Jason Tatum with the foul. That's his first foul. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. Shot clock at six. Free throw line jump shot. That's it, and the Celtic lead is cut down now to just eight on the basket for Murray. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Here's Holiday. Nine for nine, looking deadly accurate. Like, guys, he cannot miss. And this has been a nice start to the second half. They're three out of four in the rhythm on the offense right now. Murray with it. Now guarded by Tatum. Young with no one around. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Murray's got five assists in the game. Holiday surveying the floor. Rebound Atlanta. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Bay finds Young. Down low. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on Przingis. Yeah, easy call. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. The first one at the line is good. And it's been an outstanding game for them at the free throw line. Not missing their chances when they get them. Al Horford, he's checked in for Boston. And a change for the Hawks. Griffin's checked in. Both free throws good from Okongwu. Some big guys struggle at the line. Not him. He's put in the work to defy that assumption. Brzingis feeling it out a bit. Back to Holiday. In, and his hot hand continues. 10 of 11 from the floor, and looking for more. You want to know why they're winning? It's because of his play offensively. Let's it go from deep. That shot by Griffin, no good. Celtics leading by seven. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well knowing it's his responsibility to find open teammates. Holiday, nice job setting the table there. This is his second attempt at the line tonight. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Bay. Here's Griffin. He's got 13. Pass to Capella. Lob pass to Capella. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And you've got to respect Capella's work ethic on offense. He always puts in the effort to get the finish around the rim. Now here's Brown. 15 points in the game. Puts it up from 17. Berzingis can't hit. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Atlanta. Trailing here by eight. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And so it's Boston with it. The pass to Pritchard.
tipped away. Young outside. He dishes it to Capella. Griffin passes to Capella. That one's in there. The Boston lead is cut down to six and the bucket from Young. When you watch Young, there's that courage to his game. Now a timeout called by Boston. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. Austin leading by six. Outside Holiday. Kicks it to Horford. Pass to Pritchard. That's no good. He's five of ten from the field. Hawks have gone five of seven from the field in the third quarter. Let's see if they can keep it up. A floater. And that one good. Now just a four-point Boston lead. Such a creative ball handler. Young has an ability to carve out room for himself with his dribble. Here he goes. Drops in the layup for two. Young's got 11 in the second half. Great quarter for him at the offensive end trying to wheel his team back in the game. Holiday gets the bucket. An intense competitor. It's clear that Holiday enjoys going hard at the defense and finishing on it. And it's sent back by Horford. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Horford. Bruno Fernando's checked in for the Hawks. DeAndre Hunter comes in for Johnson. Here's Hunter right through the D for the layup. Hunter's got his third basket of the night. And it's his decision-making. Hunter looking like a surgeon the way he operated that pick and roll. And White kicks to Horton. No good from outside. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Capella trying to free himself up. The score now all even. Young's got 29 in the game. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's 10 points in a row in the paint. Here's Holiday. Count it from 12. And the plays mature and under control. Holiday doesn't need the flashy plays. He's very comfortable with that mid range. Now, here is Young. He has 29. Chalk up two there. Hunter's got it all tied up now for Atlanta. And here's White. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. They've led by as much as 10. Puts up a three. It's good from long range. Time out, time out. White's got nine. You can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three each time. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. One of the stories here, Drew Holiday getting it done today. And he's in a complete groove right now. I don't think they can stop him altogether, but, but they at least need to make him work a little harder than he has been.
And the Celtics making a change here. Tatum's checked in. And a change for the Hawks. Bogdanovich is checked in. And Young now, top of the key. Passes to Bogdanovich. Back to Capella. And the dunk by Capella. And guys, when Capella's playing like this, it's an added bonus. Love seeing him catch fire. Griffin against Tatum. From outside the arc, Trey Young grabs the miss. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Bounce pass, Holiday. Tatum's shot is off. Here's Atlanta now. They're on an 18-7 run. White against Bogdanovich. It counts, and the foul. That's on Clint Capella. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Really unfazed. Throw his height right out the window there. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Boston. The name of the game in the modern NBA is making threes. Space in the court, and that's exactly what they are doing tonight. And the other thing you notice is how committed they've been to playing with the pass. Constantly moving that ball from one side to the other. Atlanta's gone a terrific five of six from beyond the arc in this game. Pass to Hunter. Inside. And Capella the bucket on the assist by Hunter. Capella's got the game tied up here for Atlanta. Outside White. This one for three. Drills it from outside. White's got 15 points. And perimeter scoring. I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Team putting a larger emphasis on jacking up three. And the dunk by Capella. And Capella has run pick and roll so many times. Adept at knowing where to cut after the screen. Holiday finds Tatum. Here's White. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got four assists now tonight. Talk about putting a team on your back. He has been dominant this quarter, and I don't think they are winning without him. Now, here is Young. He has 29. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. Oh, he is so good from deep. Bogdan is even better shooting out of the corner. Here's Holiday, and there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And the foul called on the Atlanta Hawks. The Celtics have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. The first free throw is good. And the Hawks making a change here. Waves check in. Free throws, good from Drew Holiday. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the Hawks. A two-point game. Now the dish to Hunter. Now the pass to Bay. Offensive rebound, Capella. And there's the bucket, staying with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Just has a nose for the ball. Capella, skilled at gaining ideal position for those offensive rebounds. Now here's White. 17 points in the game. He gets it in there. Oh, nice drive there to get to the bucket using some of that terrific agility that he possesses. Here's Hunter. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Hunter's got six points in the quarter. Well, with a number of moves and shots to choose from, Hunter is scary. Nice bucket there. White against Bogdanovich. The 10 footer. Here's Cornette, and he jams it with authority. Good to see a player going all out when the game's this tight. You know, GA, he knows what his job is patrol the offensive glass. He's just giving them everything he has. It's why his teammates appreciate and enjoy playing with him. 
First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Free throw good from Bay. Jalen Brown's checked in for Drew Holiday. So he hits one of two from the strike. The Celtics with the lead. Tatum down low. He's defended by Bay. Tatum kicks to White. Pass to Cornette. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Cornette's got four points in the quarter. Hey guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. And at the close of the third quarter, still a close game, and both teams putting up points in a hurry. Celtics lead by three. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. You've got to admire the vision just as much as the accuracy. Not many players can even spot that pass. NBA playoffs round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. On the court right now for the Hawks. Johnson is out there with Clint Capella. Then there's Bogdanovich. Then there's Murray. And it's Bay in at the three spot. Six on the shot clock. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Man, this has been a fun one, but look, who doesn't love a high-scoring game? Tatum wide open, he fires one. A shot's good, Brown making the play. Brown's got three assists tonight. And he knocked down four triples in the first half. You've got to stay in his hip pocket. Bay against Brown. Now here's Bay. Murray for three. In it goes for the eighth time in ten tries. Murray sees your three and raises you another one right back at you. Passes it to White. From 10 feet out, and Capella sends it back to take the lead, and Johnson puts it in. And let's get your take, guys, and the hustle stats for the Hawks. All you have to do is look at one stat, and that is their block numbers. It tells you how tight their D has been. They've been going out of their way to smother the defense. And I'll tell you, the energy they've shown in the open floor, boy, it has been terrific, doing a phenomenal job converting in those situations. Here's Bay. Jalen Johnson picking up that last basket. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. There is just no way to tell who is going to pull this one up. When you've had this many lead changes, you're looking to see which one of those plays is going to be a momentum swinger. With how tonight has played out, keep getting it to Murray because it's paying off. To the paint and stolen by Tatum. Dishes at the white. Pass to Pritchard. From the arc. And the Celtics another three. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Atlanta calls timeout. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them.
Drew Holiday is checked in for Boston. Okonwu is checked in for the Hawks. Trey Young comes in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? During that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Quinn Snyder said to his team. His emphasis was for more effort on the defensive end. He said we have to do a better job of communicating and helping each other out. They're getting too many easy looks. Let's make it hard on them. Kevin, they're going to have to if they're going to slow down the hot shooting of their opponent. Thanks, David. Here's Brown following the bucket by the Hawks. Tatum's shot is off. Shocking that he just bricked that one. The defense got real lucky there. Okongwu finds Young. Back to Okongwu. That's in coming off the assist from Young. Young's got assist number 11 for him here tonight. Okongwu against White. There's the pass to Persingas. Over Young. And the shot goes in from Kristaps Persingas. And the soft touch for a guy for Zingas' size. He, he shoots it so well from the mid range. Here's Murray. And Boston with the rebound. They've led by as much as 10. Murray against Holiday. Right side Tatum. Just five to shoot. White. Good. White's got 15 points here in the second half. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when it counts. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Here's White following the basket by Trey Young. Holiday with it. And that one drops for him. Holiday's got 32 points in the game. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. There's Benny. That's in for his eighth bucket tonight. A hot eight for 11 shooting so far. And I like that they're not settling. Hitting the ball on the interior. Eight of their last ten coming that way. There wasn't a lot of resistance there at that rim. He just he just tricked off a little bunny. And it's Murray with the jam. Ooh, hit him with the spin cycle. Everyone out there is a little dizzy by that move by Murray. Pass to White. Outside, Brzingis. Brown against Bay. Brown, good. Brown's got it all tied up now for Boston. How about the focus from Brown? Only concerned with making that shot. Murray dishes to Johnson. Murray, the pass to Okongwu. Outside for Murray. On its way from Young for two. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. 33 points for Trey Young. He's gotten so good at finding the open man. Murray does it again. Here's Persingas. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Hawks. Atlanta's gone 7 of 10 shooting from three-point land tonight. Excellent numbers from outside. Okongwu finds Murray. Here's Young. There's the drive. And he banks in the layup. Young's got the lead up to four now for the Hawks. That guy is perfect from the field, making major contributions to this lead. Here's Holiday on the high post. He drills it. Holiday's got 14 points here in the second half. And his stroke has been dead on from the outside. I mean, inside, outside. It just doesn't matter. That is Murray's game. He doesn't settle. He is always in attack mode. Now here is Holiday. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Holiday's 36. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Yeah, it's clear why they go to him in these moments. They know he's going to deliver for him. Here's Tatum. And Tatum hammers it home. See, this is what Tatum is capable of. But he is a sensational scorer. Like, we understand that. But when he gets into a rhythm... Down against Bay. A step-back shot here. And he hits the jump shot. He's got 20. 
and defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Tatum kicks to Brown. Passes to White. And here's Holiday. Pocket six. Releases from 15. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Holiday's got 38 points. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Trey Young. Hey, guys, no doubt who our pick was going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. And the Hawks making a change here. Capella's checked in. to the wing. Bay in the post. Brown's there. Down to five on the shot clock. And here's Young from the arc. An aggressive defender who pressures ball handlers. Nobody should be surprised to see Holiday sending shots away. Gets the three-pointer to fall. With experience, skill, and ability, Holiday makes for the perfect go-to scoring option. Hey, no good. Outstanding work to send him away. They sniffed that one out. Here's White, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. First free throw is good. And both free throws good for White. In a tight game, he is exactly who you wanted at the line. Young inside, guarded by Holiday. You know, you, you can't be overzealous inside when you guard Young. You got to be better at contesting without foul. free throw is good and that shrinks the margin to just four and we continue to see young take on more responsibility welcoming the challenge to go to the line and so young nails them both and now you're in a great position thanks to those clutch free throws one possession game now here's tatum oh tatum won't be denied it is the sheer confidence of Tatum, ready to put his team on his back. Young pass to Murray. That's in, coming off the assist from Young. Murray's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for Atlanta. 
Here's Tingham. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. It goes on Jalen Johnson. Strong finish by Tatum. Nothing was stopping him there. Another big point onto the lead. Great N1 play showing us now a little bit of that killer instinct. Here's Young. Banked in off the glass. Young's got 39. So calm when the game is on the line. Young knows it's his job to bring this game home. Tatum kicks to Holland. 56 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Brown. It counts. In the clutch, Brown is someone you rely on, and he knows how to find his team points in a hurry. Young against Holiday. Johnson, that's for two. Yes! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. You know, he always pulled the trigger on that possession, but recognized that there was a better option. That's what we mean by playing for your team. Time out, time Good! Out. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. If you want to be great, you have to have that killer instinct. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. They're behind by five. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Holiday against Young. It drops. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Love the determination from Young. Knew he was going to get bumped and knocked it through anyway. You know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. It's the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. No question, Brown can knock it down from the line, but there is a ton of pressure on him here. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. Calm and cool, and his free throw put a bow on this one. Nice way to finish the game up. Marie finds Johnson. Pins the three! Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're leading by two. Just two seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And now we've got the intentional foul. No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. He drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. The second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. And they do it. They'll move on to round two. 
They had control the whole series, and they are just rolling now, winning round one, four games to one. And they are going to be tough to beat, Kevin. A few days rest afforded by taking this one in five. Round two should be exciting as well. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.